Hello everyone, CapM here. Good to see you guys and hope you are all doing well. In this video I want to talk about AMD and the rumors that are circulating suggesting they are in big talks to buy a rival chip maker. So guys, getting into the report released from Bloomberg, we see that AMD is in advanced talks to buy Xilinx Inc. in a takeover that could be valued at $30 billion. Now this is very big news for many reasons, but let's take a closer look at Xilinx. So Xilinx is a tech company that makes field programmable gate arrays known as FPGAs. So these chips are very unique because their function can be altered by software even after they've been installed in a piece of machinery. Although Xilinx's chips have historically been used in telecommunications equipment, the CEO Victor Peng is expanding into products that target data centers where these FPGA chips can be used to enhance artificial intelligence. This combination with Xilinx would give AMD more of the pieces needed to break into Intel Corp stranglehold on the profitable market for data center computer components, according to Bloomberg's report. This move can also help AMD expand into the new 5G market, just as telecommunication carriers are spending billions of dollars to build these new networks, which can prove to be a very lucrative endeavor. This push from AMD to buy Xilinx also comes during a time in where increased demand for cloud service providers like Google and Amazon has been talked about a lot. Those companies are spending heavily on new data centers to meet the surge in demand for computing power delivered by the internet. They are also racing to enhance services such as search with AI software and many companies are experimenting with building their own hardware to do so. This ends up putting greater pressure on chip providers to advance their offerings and come up with better and more advanced tech which is exactly what AMD is currently striving for. So overall this deal makes sense from a synergy perspective considering they are both in the tech slash microchip sectors and there is a possibility of a lot of growth coming in for AMD in the 5G sector over the next few years with the inclusion of Xilinx's tech. So guys if you've been enjoying the video so far can you please drop a like it really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm and I really appreciate it and it lets me know you guys enjoy the content. So now let's get into the stock chart. So guys getting into the chart of AMD we would assume that heading into tomorrow after this news we might see a big pop because these are two companies that would work very well together and it is a move that does make sense for AMD to expand into those other sectors and potentially compete better with Intel. Well, what are we seeing now on the chart? We did see that in the after hours, it didn't really pop a lot because the news was released later on in the night. But currently we are seeing that AMD is not an uptrend. And you guys see that we retested back to the 50 exponential daily moving average before finding support and trending much higher. So I would expect right now that AMD is in a nice slight uptrend and there is a possibility for a breakout with this news. And if the news does come into fruition heading into the next week, I would be very bullish on the stock and I do think we can trend much higher. But heading into the weekly chart right now, what do we see? Well, AMD is looking very bullish considering the fact that we are trying to close above this level over here where we did previously get heavily rejected, had a spinning top pattern over here and trended lower. We didn't trend back to the 20 exponential weekly moving average, but we did find a lot of support in the $75 region. Now, since we're trending higher and we're potentially breaking and closing above this level heading into the weekly close tomorrow, this can be a very bullish signal for a bullish continuation pattern on AMD. And if we do take a flagpole extrapolation here from the previous breakout of this ascending triangle formation that formed from February 2020, we do see if we put it at the low of this region, AMD can reach a target stock price of $108. And I do think that would be a nice region to maybe potentially take profits if of course we do see a lot of bullish sentiment for this deal. And again, as I said, we have to look at what happens tomorrow. If the market does close red and AMD does close red tomorrow, that might be bearish signaling another rejection point considering we are meeting the previous resistance level over here. But again, if we do break and close above this region, guys, we are closing in a region where we only had previous wick level resistance. So we never really closed in this area before. And that would be more bullish for the stock. And I do think that can be a bullish catalyst sending it much higher in the near future. So overall guys, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm. Thank you guys for watching and have a great one.